Hi ladies and gentlemen, in my first tutorial about selling on Monday morning, I talked about the process of when we look at a contact, we pick up the phone, we call that person, and then after the phone call is completed, we then send a follow-up email based on the premise that we either left a message, which will probably happen about 80% of the time, or we spoke to the person, that will probably happen about 20% of the time. So let me create a scenario for you. Let's say your goal is today to call 100 people because you want to talk to 20 people. You know you have to call 100 to talk to 20 because the other 80, you're going to leave a message. So the goal is to talk to 20 people during the day. Okay, let's look at this a different way. What if instead of calling 100 people, what if the first thing in the morning when I came in on a Monday morning, instead of calling, I sent 100 emails? Now, at first, that might seem like, well, how do you do that? Well, there's a bunch of ways you can do that. But the way I'm going to suggest it here is to take into account that we have Microsoft Outlook, we have Act, we have template phrases, and we have Banana Tag. And let me tell you what I think can happen and actually be a better way to reach out. So... I'm going to come in and I'm going to reach Kim Taylor and I'm going to do that by sending an email. Now again, I'm not calling first, but I'm going to send an email. Microsoft Outlook opens up and over here I have an email that I've pre-written and I just called the email to ice cream prospects then follow up where the other way we were calling and then sending a follow up. Good morning. I sell ice cream. Would you like to order some? Simply click on the flavor of your choice to place an order. Now, keep in mind, when I send this email out, a number of things are going to happen. One, after I hit send, if Kim Taylor opens this email, I will get an email back saying Kim Taylor opened it because of banana tag. If she doesn't open it, no big deal. But when I get that email back and see that Kim Taylor opened it, I can literally go and place a phone call to her. Now, I don't know if you saw the contents of that email, so let me go to the next one. And again, I'm going to press the F5 key to refresh the screen, and you'll say, see that it recorded today's date because I sent the email. That's good information to know. I'm going to go to the next one, and I'm going to go to Wade. And again, if I want to send an email, I'm going to go up and click on Email. But I want you to observe that in this email, I wrote in, at some point soon, I will call you to introduce myself. So basically, I've said in this email that I'm going to call you at some point. So again, creating the banana tag scenario, I send this email out. And the way banana tag works is you have to send emails one at a time. That's the way it works. So one at a time, I send out an email. Now, you might say, well, that's going to take me a long time, but the reality is it's really not going to take you that much time, and I'll, I'll run through that. I'll, I'll send out five of them really quickly to see how quickly this can happen. I think you can send out about 100 emails in roughly an hour. But then, instead of you calling 100 people, I'd say, come in, work for an hour, send out 100 emails. ACT will record that you sent it out. It'll put that date in the last email field, so that's how you're going to remember that you sent it. And then, instead of calling 100 people, which is very time-consuming, only call the people that open your email. Because they just opened your email, so why not call them right then and there? So again, I'm going to send out this email, I'm going to hit send, and we're done. That's it. So we're on number two. Let me go to number three, and I'm going to send out five emails real quick here. So again, here's this. I'm going to click on email. Here's my email. I hit send. Done. Move on to the next one. Hit email. Double click on the email. Hit send. And I'm done. I don't think I need to send it out to five. I think you get the point after sending it out to three. But see how quick that was? Sending those three emails out took me less than 30 seconds. Okay, so if I'm sending out six emails or five emails every minute, it's going to take me 20 minutes to get those out. So now what I have the ability to do is instead of spending my whole day calling these people and only reaching 20, let's assume 20% of the people that 
get my email, open it. And those are the people I'm going to call. I'm just trying to increase my odds of who I'm going to call. Okay. Now, there's another thing that's going to happen here, and I'll, I'll give you something to think about. Eventually, you will get emails sent to you saying, hey, Kyle opened your email, but you know what? He opens it six months from now. And all of a sudden, you're like, wait a minute, Kyle just opened my email. What's that mean? Well, it might mean that Kyle set your email aside and opened it because he was looking to place an order. Maybe he set it aside because the timing wasn't right when you first sent it. Does that mean Kyle might be interested in ordering some ice cream? Well, one of the things you should be thinking about is you also need an email that's designed so that when Kyle opens that email six months from now, yes, you're going to get an email saying Kyle just opened it. Have an email prepared saying, Kyle, can I help you with anything? Would you like to order some ice cream? So these tools can turn ACT from just a simple tool that holds data into a real selling machine. And this is really the bottom line here. I want to give you some ways to think about selling using ACT. Now, one of the things I haven't mentioned to this point is there is a tool called ACT Marketing Automation, which is part of this group of courses but it's course number six at this point. So you can go take a look at that, but that is sort of a different animal. This is more one-on-one -on -one down in the trenches selling using ACT as a tool. So ladies and gentlemen, this is sort of the first look at selling with ACT. Two options, either you telemarket and then follow up email, or you send an email 100 at a time and then wait for the people to respond then you call them throughout the day. When you call them, record that you called them, and now you've done your job. You're doing as much as you can to reach out to people and communicate with them. Get through all these contacts, live to fight another day, come back three months from now, work on them again. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Hollowitz. Thank you so very much. You have a great day. Bye now.